for our Sunday service. Today's September 29, 2024. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to receive blessings that this holy metaphysical church has a mission of blessings and accepts to join with viewers, listeners alike, so that no soul is left behind. That is our true purpose. It is no accident that you are listening. Viewing today, you have a need to be blessed. We all need to be blessed in some way, don't we? Let us bow our heads and hearts in prayer as I call forth into the innermost center of my heart's mind and spirit, the wisdom of nature's intelligence of my mortal physical body that I live in, the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit of my heavenly spiritual self that lives in my mortal body. Blessings from all virtues that complete and perfect the gifts of the Holy Spirit that bring forth fruit fit for repentance into this holy metaphysical church. As we release all negativity from the week just past and throughout our lives. To receive blessings, I turn on my heart light to signal to the God of my reason for being that I'm open to receive my soul's eternal oneness with the heart, mind, and spirit of God as co-creator that I've chosen today. Repeat after me for this realization. Today and every day, I give thanks. I let it be so, and so it is. It is no secret that we have a say in how we are blessed when we become co-creators. In metaphysics, the language spoken here, we can upgrade, make a different choice of energy utilization for the purpose that we now intend. And what do we intend? Have you ever had someone ask you, what do you want to do in your life? And you're thinking, I don't know. You know, I live one day at a time. And what do we want out of life is a question. And we all know that Dr. Einstein's formula, E equals MC squared, tells us that energy can be recycled from current utilizations that maybe don't work for us as well as we thought they would, and that don't bring us the pleasure we intended, and that we can now reintend what we would like to reutilize our energy for. Is it that easy, you may ask? Well, actually, it is. These are tools in our metaphysical toolbox. And the first one is called the Spiritual Law of One. And the Spiritual Law of One, as many of us know, is immutable. That means it can't be changed. Once it's done, it's done. Meaning, we speak into existence that which we now intend. Repeat after me, I now intend the life I dare to dream is mine. Some may make a mental list and prioritize it in order to receive it in the right order. This is a permutation of events rather than a combination and this will ensure that some of life's puzzle pieces are not missing. What is missing for, from your life? And that means that you did a combination of events and there was no order to it. We all know and feel when our life is fragmented. Is missing the love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the kindness, the goodness, the faithfulness, the gentleness, and the self-control, don't we? And when this happens, don't despair. It just means that we need to compensate ourselves for our loss. Of course, this may be good news to you today. How do we compensate ourselves for our loss? And if we didn't know we're unaware, there is no judgment here. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are free. They are the seeds that produce what you may have been missing in your life. The love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the kindness, the goodness, the faithfulness, the gentleness, and the self-control. And these are called the fruits of the Spirit. And when they come into our life, we are so much happier because we realize we are co-creators. We have a say in how we are blessed. Repeat after me. I now receive my free gifts of the Holy Spirit that I plant into my life today to produce what I may have been missing out on. I know this is spiritual food and will help me plan for a better tomorrow that is now 
on my new horizon. To introduce myself, I'm Reverend Dr. Sherwood Howland, a licensed ordained minister to officiate all functions of the Chartered Online Church, whose charter is through the University of International Metaphysical Ministry Systems as of 2010, when I received my oath of doctor of metaphysical science from the founder, Dr. Pauline Masters, who was also celebrating his 50th anniversary of servants to the world. And that is what we are. We are servants to the world. And any time that we can do something that blesses one person, it blesses the world. It uplifts the entire world. And when you know that, it's just a good thing because you are that person that can be blessed today, that will uplift not only yourself, but the entire world in the process. One soul at a time. To receive our blessings, let us pray all together the Lord's Prayer. It is the Our Father. That is the Lord's Prayer recorded in G by Jesus' disciple Matthew in St. Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. Let us pray all together. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. And we all said, Amen. Repeat after me, I receive the word of God. I receive the Our Father, that is the Lord's Prayer. I acknowledge the Lord of my life is now my single source of blessing. This is the one mint of the Anahazimwa, that is the language of light of original creation. First there was a light, and then there was the language that followed. And the language that followed says, that we know that our single source of all good things, our single source of life, is that light within us. So that is why we turn on our heart light to tell the world that we're ready to receive our blessings. Today's service is non-traditional and non-denominational. All religions and non-religions are welcome to attend our service as metaphysics is the perfect size for all souls so that no soul is left behind. You know, to benefit the most from metaphysics, that is the bridge between the physical and spiritual, we call it the etheric bridge. This holy metaphysical church recommends meditation, prayer, contemplation, 12 to 14 minutes twice a day, so that you can establish that connection, always be connected, so that you can hear that still small voice when you have a question, you have an immediate answer, and all you have to do is just wait a minute and listen, because it is there. And we advise 12 to 14 minutes each time, but if you have greater needs that mandate a longer time to meditate, pray and contemplate, everyone has their own schedule, and all of us are different. We have different needs of how we can be blessed. And today, to assist in meditation, the founder, Dr. Paul Dan Masters, has published a, a book and a workbook for students to record their progress in meditation. Not everyone knows how to meditate, but I've always said that men know how to meditate almost automatically. When you ask a man sometimes what he's thinking, he's thinking of nothing. And absolutely, that is how meditation begins, is thinking of nothing. But Dr. Masters has published a book and a workbook for students to record their own progress because it's a personal thing. And the book is entitled Meditation Dynamics by Paul by Dr. Paul Leon Masters, and he's a PhD. And know that the beauty and function of this holy metaphysical church is that its mission of blessing is in accordance with the divine order of Melchizedek, a heavenly order without beginning and without end, the same royal priesthood as that of Jesus the Christ, anchored in Psalms 110. And I read verse 3 and 4 for edification only. Verse 3, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness, from the womb of the morning thou hast the dew of thy youth. 
Verse 4, the Lord has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. And that is what was given to me by my university after I'd taken the Doctor of Metaphysics and passed, had it been, my dissertation had been accepted by the group of professors at the university. And no, this Holy Metaphysical Church is proactive. We know that not only can we feed ourselves the Word of God, we can also bless ourselves. That's how proactive we are. We know our power, the spiritual power, the law of one, the law of co-creation. Repeat after me, I bless myself today and every day with more than enough blessings so that I am blessed. I become a blessing to others who are also blessed because I'm a blessing and my blessings and their blessings will not diminish the blessings that we're both receiving. When you light another candle with your candle, it only increases the amount of light. It does not decrease it. Please join this Holy Metaphysical Church as we have a prayer treatment each Sunday, a communion for ourselves to receive our blessing to co-create and to receive the divine favor of God into our lives. Our heart light is on. Divine presence of Father, Mother, God, into your welcoming arms of love, unconditional love. I recommit my life fresh and new. I want to be an expression of your wisdom, your power, your creativity, your peace, your love and harmony of my universal origin to activate that light language of one mint I, so that I am the co-creator. I have a say in how I am blessed. I acknowledge that you are the single source, the Lord of my life, speaking blessings into my life now that I have received your free gifts of the Holy Spirit. I regret not knowing until today that I have the power of choice to choose to live life in a different way. Please fill my life with the fruit of the Holy Spirit, that the holy seeds from the Holy Spirit are planted in my life today. I know in meditation you speak to my heart that which I need to know. Let me always listen to your still small voice that brings me to light. I feel that you approve of me and my prayers are being answered because I know you make the seemingly impossible possible as it is a spiritual thing. It is a personal thing, whether or not my mind understands or accepts the depth of your love for your creation or how or why I am protected as I receive your favor. My prayer is that today you will realign my life as you provide for me and protect me as I am being prospered. I know that with your miracle grow, the holy seeds planted today will bring forth fresh fruit fit for repentance. Repeat after me for this realization today and every day. I give thanks. I let it be so, and so it is. And we all said amen. That is the call to witness that these events that we have ordained will come into our lives today, this week, this moment, this hour. Let's, let us not wait to receive until it's too late. As we have discussed, metaphysics is a branch of philosophy that studies the ultimate nature of existence, reality, and experience without being bound to any one theological doctrine or dogma. We accept that there are truth in all of them. In studying the ultimate nature of existence, there arises the first cause argument or cosmological argument that the existence of the universe to entail a being that created the universe, it does so based on the fact that the universe had a beginning. There must, the first cause argument says, be something that caused the beginning, a first cause of the universe. Some say the Big Bang Theory is what happened. The first cause would extend. If it had a beginning, then there was a first cause. This is the spiritual law of cause and effect that is mutable, changeable at the etheric level when we pray, meditate, and contemplate. This law provides that what we discover in prayer, meditation, and contemplation 
can be changed. And this is the benefit and beauty and wisdom that we provide to you today. At the higher level of God consciousness, when we listen to this gentle small voice, it cleans our thoughts, sanctifies our soul, elevates us to procreate level, where we can receive all the beneficent allowances that we know is the favor of God. We're in a position to receive. We've opened our heart light. We've cleaned out our, our heart, our thoughts that don't serve us well. We have energy that we can now release and recycle into, into it what we intend today. Repeat after me, I receive the favor of God. I allow me so, and so it is. At the end of each Sunday service, we affirm the presence of God within us, that light within us that has activated the light language code, encodes into our being as our reason for being, our piece of the puzzle, not too big and not too small, fits in exactly as we're supposed to, that we are a blessing as we are blessed, we bless others, and it continues. As we affirm the presence of God is with us, we affirm that wherever we are and whatever we're doing, whatever power we may possess, whatever we may give, whatever forgiveness that may be needed, whatever peace we may know, whatever love we may have, whatever success we may have, we agree with the 1% and the 1% of the 1% that it is God working through us, that power, that light that is brought to us the plan, the perfect plan that realigns us, that as we are blessed, we bless others. Let us receive the benediction that is found in Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 through 26. It is a blessing that many of us have prayers on the altar that the benediction will now relieve. Do you receive? Repeat after me, I receive the benediction. Verse 24, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. Verse 25, the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Verse 26, the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Repeat after me, I receive the benediction. I receive peace. I give thanks that good satisfying results will quickly appear. Now for our closing prayer, we thank you, Lord God of heaven and earth, who formed us in your own divine image. Thank you for your free gifts of the Holy Spirit that I planned into my life today. Let me be peaceful this week. Let me co-create to manifest on all paths of peace, understanding that it is your wisdom, your peace, your power, your creativity that is beyond anything I may understand. But in obedience, I receive provision and protection that you promised us. For this, we give thanks that your peace will fill our hearts every day with the fruits, fresh fruits made manifest in divine timing, in daily prayer, meditation, and contemplation. I receive the divine love of the God of all creation, of the potter for the clay. Repeat after me, glory be to the Father, glory be to the Son, glory be to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and forever shall be a world without end. And now I say to you, blessings to you and yours, blessings without end, until we meet again. Blessings.